Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is Running On Empty Food Review. I'm your host, the report of the week, and here we are. Uh, you can hear the little bit of a, a squeaky brakes there. That's added sound effects for emphasis. It's like, you know, the, the Running On Empty train is just pulling up right now. So uh, I paid a lot for that. So we're really, we're, we're up in the production value big time right there. I know a lot of you guys are passionate about food. I know that you guys always like to keep up to date with the new releases. You like to see what's going on. And sometimes you keep track of these little, you know, foodie type holidays. And today's a big day. I think everyone knows today is National Chicken Wing Day. So I'm a big fan of chicken wings. I bet a lot of you guys are as well. I decided to celebrate National Chicken Wing Day by getting the new beer batter fish sandwich from Arby's, right? Arby's, they have all the meats, they're releasing a new sandwich, and I wanted to celebrate with uh, the beer battered fish sandwich from Arby's. You can see there's the bag with the uh, Arby's, you know, I don't know, anthem, whatever you want to call that. Standard meat craft, right? your giant Arby's hat. Yeah, the beer battered fish sandwich. Let's get it out of the bag. There's an empty bag now, collector's item. What does it have in it exactly? Right, because there it is in its little box. Okay, here's what it has. This is a fish sandwich and it features beer battered cod, lettuce, tomato, pickles, tartar sauce, and it's on a brioche bun. Price for this is $5.69. So it's five sixty-nine. dollars uh, again, for a beer batter fish sandwich, uh, codfish, lettuce, tomato, pickles, that tartar sauce, and that brioche bun. Now, one thing that I need to clarify real quick before we get any further into the review. Uh, obviously, it's a selling point that they say it's beer battered and that it is, they even say this on the website, it is made with real beer. Uh, I've gotten a lot of comments and emails, probably a dozen and a half, uh, people mostly asking, you know, if I eat this sandwich, uh, you know, will I have a good time, right? And I've researched this, you will not, in that, in that regard. Uh, despite the emphasis being on the beer, it is a non-alcoholic sandwich, so anyone under 21 can purchase this. Some people were also wondering, do you need an ID to uh, get it? But you do not. Anyone can get this sandwich. And uh, on with we on with the review we go. That one was it is what it is. Uh, no, it's safe for anyone. And you know what? I just uh, I ordered another sandwich and I pulled out the wrong one. So uh, pardon me for a minute. I also got a, a buffalo chicken sandwich just to eat, and I open this thing up and I look, I grab the wrong sandwich. So I'm gonna pause the camera and I'll be right back in a few seconds with the correct sandwich, but you know what's on it. And we're back. I, I grabbed the wrong sandwich because what they did, and I guess it was just an error on their end and I don't really care, it's no big deal. Uh, they gave me two bags because I got the buffalo chicken sandwich just to eat because I like that one from Arby's. And then I got the beer batter fish sandwich to review. And they gave me two bags and I guess I, I just grabbed the wrong one, and that's all that we got, but this is what it looks like now. This is it, I verified. There it is, the grand reveal of it. It comes in its little, you know, almost dropped the box, we can't have that. It comes in the little decorative beer batter fish sandwich wrapping, right? Just like good old, good old fish sandwiches as they're supposed to be, but there I am with it. Right there, you can see. Good enough, right? Uh, there's a close-up shot of it, though. You can see the crispy uh, fish. You can definitely see some of the tartar sauce, the white right there, uh, the tomato, some of the lettuce, the brioche bun. We'll take it out of the little wrapper. Tartar sauce. And <laughs> there you have it. There's some of the pickles and everything. So you can see what it looks like. It's a pretty complete sandwich. 
And now we're just going to try it out. So, you see everything that's on it. You can see the uh, the chick, the chicken. What am I doing today? <laughs> the fish, the uh, lettuce, tomato, pickles, tartar on the uh, brioche bun. So now we're going to try it out. Uh, it's the beer batter fish sandwich from Arby's. Going in. Let's see how this tastes. Stick that back in there. Now let's get a proper bite. I'll take one more bite. As is the case uh, during this time of year, we are expecting some tropical weather, possibly, I don't even know, in the next few days, so whatever happens, happens. I mean, it's not looking to be, if there is a storm, the most, uh, the strongest one in the world or anything, but should power be lost or internet be lost, if, if I don't upload in a few extra days, that's why. But again, right now it's just too far to predict, so you really don't know what the outcome will be. It might just be a little rain, might be some wind, might be nothing. And, uh... I will figure it out either way, but just giving you guys an update in case it's like four or five days till the next video, uh, that's probably why. But um, anyone out there that might get hit by it, again, it doesn't look all that bad, but, you know, just be prepared and be safe either way. Uh, now, here's what it comes down to with the uh, beer batter fish sandwich. I don't mind it at all. It's a little bit of a sloppy sandwich to eat, and you have to understand that. I remember there was a time where I would really like, rant and rave against an item, you know, because it's a little messy or whatnot. Now, you just have to understand that, and you just have to eat it in the appropriate circumstance. And the thing is, there's a lot of that tartar sauce on this, and it makes it slippy. Or slippery. Especially with the tomatoes as well. It's a very, a very moist sandwich, and as a result, sometimes it's tough to get a grip on it. And you're holding the bun, and it slides around, and, you know, you just have to be careful with it. That's why it was tough for me to get a proper bite at first, because it's just, I was trying to take that bite, but I was losing a grip, and I couldn't really get, and then, you know, finally, I just said, all right, forget it. Uh, if this just falls down into the depths below, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. We just gotta risk it. Um, but it was worth it. It tastes pretty good. You know, the fish itself, what I've really noticed, is that it's flaky. You know, the cod, I know I don't really eat that many you know, fast food fish sandwiches, usually just to review, um, but I've had my fair share of them. And this is one of the nicer ones that I have seen, uh, that it's flaky. It's like, it's just very flavorful. Uh, it doesn't taste like gross. It's not overly oily. It's just got this really nice flakiness to it. And it's just got substance to it as well. Uh, I do like that little bit of a crisp, you know, that it is fried and all that on the outside. On the inside, though, it does, again, just have this nice flavorful flakiness, and I like that. Um, the lettuce and tomato are kind of just there. I don't know if this one really needs the tomatoes. I just don't really see the tomatoes contributing all that much flavor-wise. Um, I do like the tartar sauce. The tartar sauce isn't like a very thick tartar sauce, so it's actually more on the runny side. And um, it's not overly tangy, but it blends in very well with the pickles as well. I would say that combination of the pickles and the tartar sauce uh, really work out well. They complement the cod nicely, and that's what makes a sandwich. 
I don't think it really needs a tomato. The lettuce is okay, it's just kind of there. And the bun tries to hold everything together, but it could be a little bit of a slippery sandwich. Um, but I would say overall, it is fairly high quality. I don't really have many complaints about it. So I'd say it's slightly above average. Um, definitely, if you like fish sandwiches, give it a shot. And for all you chicken wing lovers out there, make sure you try this for National Chicken Wing Day as well. Price for this was $5.69, and uh, out of 10 again, I would say it's just a little bit above average. By no means incredible, but I'm certainly satisfied with it. I'd say it's still, like, you know, decent quality. And, uh, again, I think for those of you who like the fish sandwiches, it's definitely better than some of the ones that I've had. Um, I don't even think tomatoes are needed, though. That's the one thing that, yeah, it's just, I think the tomatoes just make it a little more slippery, but don't really contribute much on their own. So out of 10, I'm going to give this a uh, 7 out of 10, so just a 7.0 out of 10 rating. And with that, that's all that I have for you. Please be safe, be healthy, and do take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.